showing men dressed in full police uniform entering the shop. They identify themselves as policemen based in Tohoyando. One of them cocks his weapon, kicks the shop owner, and now an armed robbery is underway. All in the shop are ordered to lie down, a pistol trained on them. The safe is opened and the contents taken. They then pack the spoils and then it's time to leave. But wait, this unlucky customer, unaware of what just occurred, is met by one of the armed robbers as he prepares to leave. A day later, the tension was palpable and the shop owner still reeling in shock. I was thinking they are trying to protect me. But when I get in and when I open the door, when they are trying to get inside and try to rob, that I didn't expect it like that. Investigations are underway to determine if these are real policemen, if they're bogus, it again raises questions about how criminals acquire these uniforms. Analysts say control measures in the police are lax. There were a number of incidents over the last couple of years where policemen in uniform actually did commit crimes and they were caught. And, and then of course there are many bogus policemen who also pose as policemen. But very often people are still suspicious that those were real policemen. We showed a deputy national police commissioner the footage. He was clearly alarmed. We are not saying that there was no robbery. A robbery has been reported. And we are not saying that there were police. We, we are uh, investigating that one. We are not saying that uh, those were not police officers. And we are neither saying that they were police officers. So it is unknown perpetrators who happen to be uh, dressed in something that uh, looked like a police uh, uniform. Investigations are continuing. Chris Alda Lewis, SABC News.